welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back with Beaker and Lulu and Melly. Hey, man. We hope you guys are good because we're back here for season three of Days Till Max. Look, guys, I'm starting to get kind of nervous. You remember season two? It was the most fun season that we did so far. I, I really believe that. And we had 200 days from the beginning and we barely made it, dude. We barely made it. And we are already almost at that time. And it's just kind of giving me flashbacks and like not in the good way. But you know what, guys? Get your shades on, get your shoes off because this is season three and we are gonna make this happen. In the meantime, I keep thinking about all the things that I want in Town Hall 14 and in any update in the near future. And I keep thinking about one thing. Guys, I used to play Clash Royale. I used to love Clash Royale and it's a good game. And it's in the same world as Clash of Clans. And I keep thinking, why aren't there more troops that cross over the border, right? Even if it's just for a limited time, why don't we get like, do you guys want the, do you guys want the village girl? You can have the village girl. Just give us something good. Just give us like mini Vega or something. Okay, anyway, Daisel Max resumes. Well, now. Now, all I can think about is a siege that drops little mini packets everywhere. Like a mini... <laughs> God, this is gonna be so fun. And like, they don't even have to be that good. Just mi just give us mini packets. Uh, guys, I have, a, I have a serious issue of not pressing record like 20% of the time. It's probably even higher, dude. It's probably even higher. Like, I don't even tell you guys half the time. So look, there's a couple things that I think we should actually get from, from Clash Royale more than we already have. And... Yeah, I mean, some of it, like in the beginning, we were saying like, it'd be cool if there was a spawner hut for mini packets. That's stupid, but it would be cool. It would be cool. And honestly, that's one of the things I think we should get a little bit more of is more, you know, like spawners, like huts. And we got one, we got um, right there, that guy. That is actually, I think straight out of Clash Royale. I think that's where they got the idea, right? It's like, it's like a goblin hut, but like it's our version. That's cool. But guys, the other thing that I think we need in Cl uh, from Clash Royale is faster troops. Guys, I just started to realize this, but you know how like all of our troops are really slow? Why is that? Like, is there a reason for that? I, I mean, I guess there is, there must be. The fastest troop in the game by far is the Goblin. And while that makes sense, I mean, he's, he's cool. Why aren't there more fast troops like him? I don't know. Look, let's attack this. Here we go. You know what I thought of at first? I thought of the Prince because he just sort of makes up Clash Royale really well. It is like a jousting simulator and he's, come on, dude. I didn't think we needed a rage. Come on, man. That's uh, fine. Okay, so seriously, we messed up. Oh, we're so lucky. We're so lucky. Um, So guys, think about that. I mean, if we had a, a troop that had a burst of speed, it doesn't have to be fast all the time, but had a burst of speed, ran into the middle of the base, got there quicker. I would like that. <laughs> Are you gonna swerve in? I'm completely not paying attention, so uh, I hope you're paying attention, Queen. Cool. Anyway, once that goes down, I think we're okay. Let's go on the other side. So yeah, I think I said to you guys earlier, but you you know this about me. I haven't played Clash Royale in so long, so there's probably some awesome... Oh, wait, I can't believe we're in the middle. Wait, let's just get the town hall and be out of here. There's probably so many awesome troops that are really fast and really interesting that I don't even know about in Clash Royale because I haven't played in a while. It'd just be really cool to see whether it's the old school ones like the Prince or any newer ones. I'd love to see it, dude. I'd love to see it. All right, guys, I'm gonna hit the Warden ability because we're going into that Inferno and it looks like such a mess, man. I can't believe we already got the Town Hall. That's kind of cool. And like, this would be a great time to have a really fast troop because it feels like we got to catch up with this army and all I've got is, uh, dude, look at that. Look at, he's so confused. He's like, where's the Town Hall? <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, it's funny. The Log Launcher is basically I mean, I hesitate to say like a Clash Royale ripoff because it is unique, but you know, the idea for it definitely started in Royale, right? The, the log itself started there. Anyway, guys, now that we're actually recording, dude, I think we just wasted like an hour of our lives doing nothing. Uh, well, we did get one raid, right? Are we still recording? <sighs> anyway, let me make sure that we're doing a challenge. I think we should be. Oh, we just got one. Sick, dude. Hey, by the way, if you guys are wondering why we're not in English, okay, I used to have this superstition that if you attacked in a different language, it put you in a different server and therefore you would get better loot. It's not true. There is no way that is true. 
I'm just kind of superstitious sometimes. <laughs> So guys, real quick, 32 movement speed. I went back to English, cool. I can read it now, thankfully. Uh, I wish I could read more languages. I could maybe do a little Spanish, but that's it. So guys, 32 movement speed is so amazing. I mean, this dude just blows past traps. It's incredible. And yeah, there's some troops that like P.E.K.K.A. They're not even gonna get hit by traps, so it doesn't matter. But how sick would it be if we had a mini P.E.K.K.A. that went as fast as the goblin, but was, re you know, had a really strong sword hit like the P.E.K.K.A. That'd be awesome. So yeah, you can see, like the baby dragon, which is pretty quick, it's nowhere near the goblin. So I think we got to get some stuff like this, guys. The hog rider is, uh, yeah, again, 24. It's not quite, uh, it's not quite as fast as the goblin. It's not even close. I hope they do something like that someday, dude. We'll see. So guys, what if the reason is they just don't want to like copy themselves, even though, I mean, you can't really copy yourself, but I get it. It's two different games. What if that's the reason that they don't borrow things from one game to the other as often? Maybe, maybe I don't agree with it. Like if I, if I was making two games, I would constantly share things between them because it, I love that stuff. I mean, look at the MCU. Like if they didn't rip off each other in every movie, it wouldn't be as good. I'm just saying, just saying. Anyway, guys, are we going to get in here? Um, I think we're distracted there. Yep, we're good. I thought that name said Radio Shack. Anyway, guys, uh, let's get over here. Dunk! Oh man, this is gonna be good. Hey, let's get those barbs down. You know, we that's not the right siege. Oh no, 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 no. I didn't I didn't do this right. Okay. Oh, what have I done? Now I just got to spawn everything. Dude, I can't believe I just did that. I thought that was the other siege. I thought that was like uh, my, my siege I usually use. The spawner siege, whatever. It's cool. Anyway, guys, just assume that we're terrible today. We're absolutely terrible. It is what it is. Let's get in the middle here. I don't have another jump, but I think we can probably just power through. I mean, I hope so. Uh, let's try to freeze some of that stuff. Dude, those yetis are in the neighborhood, but they're not where we need... I just pressed the wrong button again, again. Anyway, it's cool. You know, guys, we boosted the heroes and the army today, and I feel like I'm gonna miss this when we're out of them. We've been doing it so often lately, and it really does put you on autopilot. I mean, a lot of our troops are really good. This is so sick, battling the dragon. It looks like they're not hitting him. I guess they are. Guys, it really puts you on autopilot when you have these better heroes, these better troops. Again, most of our troops are max, but you know, like the bowlers aren't, the P.E.K.K.A.s aren't, the wizards aren't, yeah, there's a few. Guys, let's go back to base because there's one thing I think we gotta look at. What was the challenge we were just doing? Oh, it was get three stars with the, yeah, okay. All right guys, so with the boost, with the builder boost that we have, it is exactly 10 million to do this warden. That's pretty awesome. I mean, 10 million doesn't even seem that bad, right? I feel like the Dark Elixir heroes are so just like, they punch you in the face with how, how expensive they are. Why is this one so cheap? I guess we're not that high level yet. Guys, before we get started, let me do a couple of walls. Let me get these over here. One, two, I'm gonna get, uh, what, what do you think? One with gold, one with elixir. Two sounds fun, let's do two. All right, guys, one, two, it's sick, dude. So now we have a normal amount of elixir, fairly somewhat normal. Let's do this up, guys. In three, two, one. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you for coming out. We love you guys. If you enjoyed this one, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to leave two for Lulu. Join the gang. All you got to do is subscribe. And by the way, I think today is code beak day. Let me make sure it's in there. Uh, yeah, but I'll put it in again. It's probably going to expire today. I never remember to put it in on the right day, but normally I put it in on Tuesday and that's today, right? I think so. It's also garbage day at my house. So last night, you guys don't want to hear about this, do you? <laughs> the story is I put more cardboard out by the road where they pick up the trash, more cardboard than I've ever seen in my life. And I just, I felt so bad because the guy was going to pull up in the, in the garbage truck and be like, what happened here? Why is there a mountain of cardboard here? I don't know, man. I just got a lot of cardboard. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. And we'll see you right here tomorrow on the one and only Beaker's Lab with Beaker and Lulu and your boy, Melly. Melly, you were supposed to do something cool then. <laughs> Peace, guys.